Across the country, hospitals and health systems are engaged in what may feel like a never-ending war against disease-causing bacteria. In 2015, there were an estimated 687,000 healthcare-associated infections, or HAIs, in U.S. acute care hospitals, and approximately 72,000 patients with HAIs died during their hospitalizations, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. COVID-19 added an additional layer of risk and uncertainty to the healthcare setting, requiring many facilities to work even harder to regain trust and bring people back for essential services. Healthcare leaders are asking, what top priority changes do we need to implement right now? How can we ensure the practices are properly followed? And how can we maximize our existing plans for infection prevention? The Targeted Assessment for Prevention Strategy, the TAP strategy, is a framework for quality improvement developed by the CDC. It consists of three components. One, targeting prevention efforts by identifying healthcare facilities and specific units with an excess burden of HAIs. Two, assessing facility policies and practices to identify gaps in infection prevention at the targeted locations. And three, preventing infections through tailored interventions that address identified gaps. The program is supported by a suite of tools and resources uniquely designed to address the prevention of catheter-associated urinary tract infections, county, central line-associated bloodstream infections, CLABSI, and Clostridioides difficile infections, or CDI. A panel of CDC experts provides technical assistance at no cost to all healthcare organizations, including health departments, hospital associations, health systems, and individuals using the program. While the TAP strategy was developed primarily for the acute care setting, the concepts and resources may be adapted and applied across the continuum of care. The first component of the TAP strategy, Target, works by using data to identify facilities and units with the greatest room for reducing the rate of HAIs and achieving their hospital safety goals. One way to identify locations to target is to generate TAP reports within the National Healthcare Safety Network, or NHSN. TAP reports can be generated by group users, such as health departments and healthcare systems, and by facility-level users. Once healthcare facilities and specific units with an excess burden of HAIs have been identified through the TAP report, the assessment component can begin. The second component, ASSESS, helps hospitals and health systems identify gaps in infection prevention in the targeted locations. The TAP facility assessment tools review infection prevention practices in targeted locations to identify opportunities for improvement. The assessment tools can be deployed across facilities or within targeted units. They're used to capture awareness and perceptions of HAI prevention policies and practices and identify gaps. This allows for a more customized approach to addressing the issues. The goal is to collect as many TAP facility assessments as possible by engaging frontline personnel on targeted units. The greater number of completed assessments, the greater the ability to identify gaps to guide improvements in care. Assessment responses are compiled and summarized within a TAP feedback report. It is important to note that the feedback report is distinct from NHSN TAP reports. The TAP feedback report aggregates the anonymous responses from staff members and highlights opportunities for improvement. The final component, PREVENT, guides partners in strengthening the implementation of recommended interventions to address identified gaps in infection prevention. Feedback reports summarize the TAP facility assessments and are used to identify and prioritize gaps, helping facilities to develop and implement targeted interventions to ultimately prevent infections. Once priority areas have been identified, partners can access infection prevention resources within the TAP implementation guides to help address their gaps and implement interventions. The TAP implementation guides are available on the TAP website for county, CLABSI, and CDI and align with the infection prevention domains within the TAP assessments and feedback reports. Each guide contains actionable resources, including sample policies, audit tools, trainings, and comprehensive toolkits. CDC subject matter experts are also available for feedback and assistance. TAP strategy tools and technical assistance are available to partners across the nation as we work together to improve patient care and reduce healthcare-associated infections. By implementing the TAP strategy, hospitals, health systems, and other healthcare facilities can work to reduce the adverse consequences of infection and keep patients safe.
Watch the following three videos from the TAP Strategy Learning Series for a more in-depth review of the TAP tools and guidance for implementing each component of the TAP strategy.